Last week, I suggested that the ABS's labour force survey wasn't painting an accurate picture of what we were seeing on the ground. Well, this week, the ABS has put out new research, and I think it does paint a more accurate picture. And it's a really depressing picture at the same time. In the last two weeks of March and the first week of April, so over that three week span, we saw 6% of all jobs disappear. We saw 6.7% of all wages disappear. That means 780,000 jobs were lost. Some people may have had more than one job, so it's hard to say it's 780,000 people, but you get the picture. It's a big number in a very short period of time. And in fact, it's the biggest number that we've ever seen on record. Those jobs were most concentrated in the accommodation and food services sector. In that sector, 25.6% of all jobs were lost and over 30% of salaries were lost. The next most affected was the arts and recreation industry at 18.7% losing their job. We're hitting this through a mechanism that we've not seen before where we've shut down segments of the economy. But unfortunately, some things stay the same in every recession. And one of those is those that are hardest hit tend to be the young. The ABS survey identified that 9.9% of jobs were lost for people under the age of 20. We've seen this as a consistent pattern in every recession. Uh, the jobs that are lost first tend to be the youngest and they don't get those jobs back quickly and we have a much higher youth unemployment rate coming forward. So this is something we're gonna to have to be thinking about both as employers, thinking of new pathways and trying to train people, but equally um, it's something we're gonna to have to build into thinking about how we support the young so we don't have established youth unemployment.